गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड पेपर अट डिस्कशन सेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर एस एस सी सी जी एल प्री पेपर अट डिस्कशन सीरीज सेशन माई सेल्फ अदिनेश मिगलानी दिस सेशन इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग फॉर एस एस सी सी जी एल प्री एंड मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग फॉर एनी गवर्नमेंट जॉब प्रिपेरेशन यू मे कनेक्ट मी ऑन माई फेसबुक एट माई ई मेल आई डी एट द रेट अदिनेश मिगलानी Uh, for any query, you may send email to me at legalbuddy at the rate gmail dot com. My WhatsApp number zero nine two one double five one double four three five. For regular updates of my videos, you may subscribe my YouTube channel at the rate Adinesh Miglani. I expect from you to share these videos on your Facebook wall as well as with your friends, so that more and more people will be benefited by this. Let us start with the first question of this session. before starting the session i just want to tell you that you must be well conversant with the basic concepts because that is a paper a discussion session in this session we are going to solve all the 50 questions for ssc cgl pre examination right so that you are in a position to have all type of questions in your mind at the same time as well as where you can apply shortcut method or you can solve the question with the help of the option all type of technique we a discuss in this sessions Let us start with the first question of this session. It is given that rupees twenty four hundred would become six thousand in three years at a certain rate of compound interest, where as compounded annually, how many years will the sum become fifteen thousand? Right. So what I can say twenty four hundred becomes six thousand. So I can say that my principal is twenty four hundred. Rate of interest I don't know one plus r by hundred. Right. How much time it takes three years. And sum becomes equal to six thousand. That you have, okay. Uh, from where now the question is, uh, in how many years will the sum become fifteen thousand? The question is that in how many years sum become fifteen thousand? So from here I can observe that one plus r by hundred raised to power three, right? Uh, that would be taken as cancel out, right? So I may say twelve to twelve five. So I may say that is equal to five by two, right? Now. I have to find out in how many years will the sum become fifteen thousand. So let us say twenty four hundred into one plus r by hundred raised to power t. Right. I want to get my money to be fifteen thousand. Right. And I have to find the value of t. But I can say this is cancelled out. Right. I, I may take that six will go on four. Six will go on twenty five. Right. So I may take one plus r by hundred raised to power t equal to twenty five by four. Right. Now when I compare it, I know that. One plus r by hundred cube is equal to five by two, and here I require twenty five by four. It means I have to make the square of that, right? If I make the square, in that case I get value of t to be six. Okay, so here my answer should be it can be done in six years. Hence my answer is set to be b, right? So here we can say uh, the answer to your question is set to be b. Let's have the next question here. At what rate of interest will the sum of sixty four hundred Will become seven four zero eight in one and half year when compounding is done half yearly, right? My principal is sixty four hundred into let us say interest rate is r percent, so one plus r by hundred. Okay, because it is given that interest is compounded half yearly, it means that rate has to be made half, right? And time has to be made twice, right? So I can say uh, that it is. Uh, if I I know that in uh, half yearly in one and half year. I get interest for a uh, three times, right? So this is equal to seven four zero eight point eight. Now I have to solve it and find my value, right? But I can say I just try to solve it one plus r upon two hundred raised to power three. Okay, this is equal to six four zero eight. This is equal to seven four zero eight eight by sixty four thousand. That I can say, okay. Now, when I look at it, can we cancel it? Yes, eight will go on eight thousand. It will go on eight will go on nine seventy two twenty. It will go on to sixteen, right? Uh, then forty eight. It will go on six and one, right? Now, when I observe it, so I can say this is twenty one by twenty cube, right? So from here I can say one plus r upon two hundred equal to twenty one by twenty. Okay. Now I have to just solve my answer. So what I can say? Uh, if i take r to be 20 that would be 20 by 10 it should be 20 1 by 10 right if i take r to be 10 it should be 21 by 20 right if i observe from here so from here i can say that 
my answer is said to be 20 uh, here i can say answer r is equal to 20% right so that is the rate of interest okay so here answer is said to be 20% sorry it should be 10% if i take r to be 10% it should be 10 by 200 1 by 20 so here i can say r is said to be 10% c becomes my answer next statement is uh, simple interest on a sum is 60% of the capital after 5 years. Find the interest per year if the rate of interest is increased by one fourth and sum is rupees 12,000. Right? First of all, I have to find the rate of interest. Let us say principal was 100. Right? My interest would be 60. So I can say that R would be equal to 60 into 100 by 100 into 5. Right? From here I can say R equal to 12%. First thing we have, now it is given that if sum is 12,000, okay, into rate increase by one fourth. One fourth means 16 interest per year. One by 100, right. I can say that is 1920, okay. So from here I can say answer is said to be D, 1920, that becomes my answer. Because I have to find the interest per year where rate of interest increased by one fourth, right? 12, it must be equal to 16. When I say, sorry, uh, one fourth, it should be three, 15, it should be 1800, sorry. We have taken to be uh, one third, but I have to make it one fourth, it should be three, 12 plus three, 15. Here I can say, answer to my question is said to be 1800. Uh, C is my answer. Let's have the next question. P can complete a piece of work in 18 days, Q in 24 days, R in 48 days, Q and R started the work, are forced to leave after 8 days, time taken by P alone to complete the remaining work is, right? So we have number of approaches for that. So one approach is uh, Q and R worked for 8 days. In 8 days, he does 8 by 24, 8 by 48, and the rest of the work is done by P in X days, X by 18, total work is equal to 1. That we can say. Right, it should be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus x by 18 equal to 1. LCM is said to be 18. 6 plus 3 plus x equal to 18. From here I can say x equal to 9. Right, so my answer is said to be time taken by P alone to complete the remaining work is 9 days. Hence I can say C is my answer. Let's have the next question here. At 5 a.m., a water supplier observed that a tank of capacity 6,000 liters is filled up to half. It means, I can say that at time 5 o'clock, it was filled up to uh, 3,000 and total capacity was 6,000, right? Where inlet and outlet by both are connected, the tank is emptied in 6 a.m. It means, emptied at 6 a.m., it means in one hour, how much is emptied? 3,000 liters, right? Uh, even as inlet pipe is pumping water at a rate of 75 liter per minute, it means water that is going inside it, 75 into 60, right, zero, and that is 4450. So I can say 4500 liter water had gone, right, and it has emptied. Earlier there was 3000. How much was emptied? 7500 liter in one hour, right. So that is the capacity for emptying. The question is, Find the time taken by the outlet to empty a full tank of capacity of 3750, right? So I, here I can say that in one hour, how much is emptied? 7500 and I have to empty 3750. It takes one by two hours or we can say 30 minutes. The hence answer to my question is said to be 30 minutes. C is my answer, right? Here answer is said to be C. Next statement is in a race of 500 meters, Suresh beats Mahesh by 10 seconds or 100 meter. What is the speed of Mahesh? Suresh beats Mahesh, right? It means I can say that Suresh beats Mahesh. Here speed of the Mahesh is said to be 100 by 10. That is 10 meter per second. That becomes my answer, right? And if we just try to understand the concept behind it, Suresh beats Mahesh. It means Suresh has traveled 500. Mahesh has traveled 400. That you know, right? Now, the stretch of 100 meters, he beats either him by 100 meters or by 10 seconds, right? So, what I can say that Mahesh can travel 100 meter in 10 seconds. So, on that basis, I can say speed of the Mahesh is 100 by 10. That is said to be 10 meter per second. A becomes my answer. 
Let's have the next question here. A train P going at a speed of 90 km per hour overtakes another train Q. When we talk about overtake, it goes in same direction of length 300 meter at a speed of 72 km per hour in two and a half minutes, right? So let us say the length of the train is X plus 300, right? Divided by uh, same direction 90 minus 72, that is 18 into 5 by 18 and take the value here into the seconds, 2 hour and 30 minutes, that is 150 seconds, okay? Now this is cancelled out, x plus 300 equal to 750, here I can say x equal to 450, right? Now, I have to find the length of the train P, so I can say that the length of the train P is said to be 450 meters, that becomes my answer, right? Because in the question, I observed the length of the train P to be 450, my answer is said to be 450. Read the next question. A man on a boat rows 8 km downstream in 2 hours, right, and 6 km upstream in 3 hours. So I can say downstream speed is u plus v, that is 4, and upstream stream is said to be 2, right. I have to find speed of the boat. I have to find u, that would be 3 km per hour, right. So here my answer is said to be speed of the boat is 3 km per hour. B becomes my answer. A tank is filled with water to one sixth of the capacity, right? If two liter is drawn from the tank, it would fill to one eighth of the capacity, right? So what I can say, x by six minus x by eight is equal to two. Let us say that the total capacity of the tank is x, right? I can say x by six minus x by eight equal to two. Take the LCM, that is 24. So I may say four x minus three x equal to two, right? X equal to 48, okay? So I can say whole capacity of the tank is 48 liter, hence B is my answer. Observe this question, right, what I can say 1 by 2, that's 1, that's 1 and then half, right. So I can say that is 2, 1 by half, right. Now add the remaining, right, I can say that 1 plus 1 that is said to be 5, right, then that is 4, then it is uh, 3, right and then it is 2 and finally it is 1. If I add 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1 by 2, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1 by 2, hence I can say answer is said to be A. Next question is 0.1, 0.001, 0.0001 into 10 raised to power 8, uh, 1, 3, 4 and 4, 8, right? If I multiply this 10 raised to power 8, right? So here, my number of zeros in the base are 8 and there it is 8, hence my answer is said to be 1, hence C is my answer. So answer to this question is said to be C. Next statement is, we have to find the sum of the series. It goes up to infinity, it's an infinite GP series, take 2 here, right, we know that 0 0.3, 0 0.03, 0 0.003, right, when I observe it, here I can say common ratio, because I know that sum of infinite GP is A upon 1 minus R, right. Here my first term is said to be 0 0.3. I have to go for common ratio 0 0.03 by 0 0.3, right? So this is 3 upon 100 into 10 by 3. That is cancelled out. So I can say common ratio is 1 by 10, okay? Now what I can say, S infinity is equal to A divided by 1 minus R, right? This is 1 by 0 0.3 by 9 by 10. It should be 10, okay? So what I can say, that is a 3 by 9. I can say that is 1 by 3. Okay, so I can say that 0 0.3, 0 0.03, 0 0.003, the sum is equal to 1 by 3. So my answer is said to be 2 plus 1 by 3. Hence, my final answer is 2, 1 by 3. That becomes my answer, right? So hence, I can say answer is said to be C. Let's have the next question here. It's a question of successive discounts, right? Successive price increases. Sorry, it's a question of successive price increase. That's 44%, right? I A number of times, in percentage concept, I told you, uh, when you talk about successive percentage, A plus B plus AB by 100, here I can say 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 by 100, okay, so that is said to be 40 plus 4, so my overall percentage is said to be 44%, right, hence I can say C is my answer. Just read the next question here, by selling a washing machine, a shopkeeper gained a profit of 8%, right? Had he sold it for 340 more, the shopkeeper would have gained a profit of 
तो आई कैन से अर्लियर इट वॉज एट परसेंट नाउ इट इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट राइट इट मीन्स दैट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट प्राइस इज इक्वल टू थ्री फोर्टी आई कैन से दैट वन परसेंट इज इक्वल टू थ्री फोर्टी बाय फोर बाई टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइस वॉज हंड्रेड दैट यू कैन से राइट जस्ट सॉल्व इट फोर विल गोन एट एंड फोर विल गोन एट थर्टी टू एंड फाइव तो आई कैन से ओवरऑल कॉस्ट प्राइस इज इक्वल टू एटी फाइव हंड्रेड राइट My question is, what is the cost price of the washing machine? So I can say D is my answer, eighty-five hundred. Let's have the next question here. Rupees nine hundred is divided among P Q R such that P share is four by three times of Q's, and R share is six point two five percent more than P. Right. So let us say Q share is X, then uh, P share is four by three X. Right. And R share is a uh, 6.25% i know that 6.25 is 1 by 16 right when r share is 1 by 16 more than p it should be 17 by 16 of 4 by 3x that you have to understand right or you may take it as a uh, 100 plus 6.25 by 100 into 4 by 3x right now when you solve it here also you may take it as 17 by 16 right now the total was 900 What I can say the ratio would be P ratio Q ratio R. P is four by three, X Q is X, R is just solve it four. That is seventeen upon twelve X. Right. Uh, I have to find the share of P. Just take the LCM twelve. It should be sixteen. Uh, right. It should be twelve. It should be seventeen. I have to find the share of P. So I may say that nine hundred into sixteen by Twenty-eight, seventeen, forty-five. It will go on two uh, twenty. So I may say three twenty. Okay. So here I can say that uh, the share of P is equal to rupees three twenty. Hence, B is my answer. A shopkeeper offered a discount of fifteen percent on the mark price of a shirt, thereby obtaining a profit of twenty percent. Right. What I can say that. Offered a discount of fifteen percent means discount is fifteen percent. Still, there is a profit of twenty percent. Right? The profit thus earned is ninety less than the actual profit the shopkeeper would have obtained had he sold it at the market price. Right? Ah, uh, so what I can say first of all, I have to find the markup percentage. I know that P is equal to M minus D minus M into D by hundred. That you can say this would be thirty five equal to right five three. 520. So I can say that is uh, 20 m minus 3 m. That is 17 m by 20. That you can say 53 520. 520. Right. Now from where I can say m would be taken as 35 into 20 by 17. That you can say. Right. Because my uh, profit is uh, 20% and the discount is 15%. That is 35. Right. Uh, here I can say uh, 53 520. And twenty minus three seventeen by twenty. The M is that one, right? Now the question is, uh, the profit thus earned is ninety less than the actual profit of the shopkeeper, right? So what I can say, if this is if no discount is given, means that is the profit percentage. Here profit percentage is twenty, right? That simply means the difference between them. The difference between them, right? Just take that is in the percentage. The difference between them. Right of the cost price. Let us say cost price is CP is equal to ninety. That you can say from where I can find the cost price. It should be uh three uh, forty right a seven hundred minus three forty by seventeen of CP equal to ninety right. That is equal to three uh, sixty. It will go on four. Go that is in percentage. You may take by hundred also. Right. If I just take it as a value, right. What I can say uh, that is equal to thirty-six. Uh, that would be equal to three uh, sixty. It will go on four twenty-five. The so CP would be taken as seventeen into twenty-five. That is the cost price. The question is, we have to find the mark price, right? For finding the mark price, uh, first of all, I must get the markup percentage. That's my markup percentage, right? It means what I have to take. This is my cost price, right? There are two things. First, what I can say, I may take it as A uh, hundred plus markup percentage by hundred, right? Just take it as hundred plus that one, right? Seventeen hundred plus seven hundred, that is twenty four hundred 
डिवाइड बाय 1700 दैट यू कैन से 17 विल गो ऑन 100 दिस इज कैंसल्ड आउट 24 इनटू 25 दैट इज 600 राइट हेंस आई कैन से ओवरऑल को ओवरऑल मार्क प्राइस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू 600 इट्स अ कैलकुलेटिव सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ इन दिस क्वेश्चन टू कांसेप्ट आर इन्वॉल्व साइमल्टेनियसली द फर्स्ट इज वी हैव टू गो फॉर द मार्कअप परसेंटेज देन ही हैज स्टेटेड अस दैट इफ ही सेल्स इट एट द uh without any a discount it means his markup percentage would be the profit and if he sells it at a profit of 20 percent the difference between their profit must be equal to 90 right so i can say the difference of the cp is equal to 90 now just solve it and here i can say uh, final cp is equal to that one 17 into 25 but here i have to find the mark price it means i have to add the markup percentage in that and finally i can say 600 is my answer just try to read the next question. A trader sold a cloth at a cost of rupees 240 per square meter after two successive discounts of 20 and 10 percent thereby gaining 48 per square meter cloth, right? We have to find the mark price of the cloth, right? It means I can say cost is 240, still is getting a profit of 48. It means his selling price must be 288. Its selling price must be 288, right? Now, uh, what, what, that is the selling price. He has given two discounts of 20 and 10 percent. Let us say mark price is X. First, he had given a discount of 20 percent. It means at 80 percent. Then 10 percent means 90 percent is equal to 288. Right. So what I can say that is X into 72 upon 100 equal to 288. 72 will go on 4. Right. So I can say X equal to 400. So here I can say that. The mark price of the cloth is equal to rupees 400, hence D is my answer. By selling a table for 7200, Arun made a profit of 20%. If profit is decreased to 9%, then selling price of the table would be. When I say uh, selling price is 7200 and profit is 20%, it means cost price is 6000, right? The question is, if profit is decreased to 9%, not by, it's to 9%, it means my profit is 9% of that, that is 540, my selling price must be 6540, hence I can say, answer to my question is set to be A, selling price is equal to 6540, A becomes my answer. Let's have the next question here, it is given that x square plus 4 equal to x, right, I have to find the value of this expression. Now when I observe at this expression, the one thing is clear that somewhere I need to make a square. Somewhere I have to need to make a square, right? But I need 3x square. So what I can say, let us take it as x square plus 2 and take it as x minus 2. That you can say, right? Now squaring both sides, x raised to power 4 plus 4 plus 4x square equal to x square plus 4 minus 4x. That you can say, right? Now 4 is cancelled out, here I can say x raised to power 4 plus 3x square minus x square, right? Uh, that is x, uh, uh, sorry, plus 4x, this is equal to 0 and that value we have to find eventually, right? So hence you can say answer is set to be A, 0 becomes your answer. Next statement is, it is given that xy3 minus 1 is same as to 1 minus 3 by x, right? I have to find the value of x square plus x. Just try to find the value of x, right? Take the LCM, uh, just take it as x y 3 minus 3 y plus 3 y x is equal to 2. Take LCM that is 3 x, it should be x square plus 9 equal to 2. From where I can say x square plus 9 equal to 6 x or else I can say x square minus 6 x plus 9 equal to 0, right? So that is somewhere the square of x minus 3 whole square equal to 0. So from here I can say x equal to 3, right? Now put the value of 3 here. So here I can say 9 plus 3. That is said to be 12, right? Here I can say the value of this expression is said to be 12. Hence C is my answer. Observe the next question here. It is given that 4x plus 1 upon 6x equal to 8. I have to find the value of 216x cube plus 1 upon 64x cube, right? Now, when I observe what I have to find out, 
uh, for that I need 6 here and 4 here, right? For making that I just uh, I divide, I just multiply this side by what I can say if I need here 6 and here 4, right? So I can multiply this by 6 by 4, both sides. 6 by 4, let us say 4x plus 1 by 6x equal to 8 into 6 by 4, okay? Multiply inside, that should be 6x plus 6, uh, 1 by 4x, right? It is equal to 4 to 6 to the is 12, right? Now just make cube both sides, a cube, 216x cube plus b cube, 1 by 16 4x cube plus 3ab, 3 into 6x into 1 by 4x, right, into a plus b. a plus b is 6x plus 1 by 4x, right, equal to 12 cube is 1728. That you can say, right. Now, this is cancelled out, okay, and this value is equal to 12. So, I may say this is equal to plus 3 into 6 by 4 into 12, equal to 1728, right. 4 will go on 3, 3, 3 the 9 into 6, 54. So, I can say 1728 minus 54, 8 minus 4, 4, right. 12 minus 5, 7 and 6 and 1, right. My answer is said to be 1674. Hence, I can say C is my answer, 1674. Observe the next question. X plus Y plus Z is equal to 0. We have to find the value of this, right. Uh, what I can say, I can say that x plus y is equal to minus z. If I put here minus z, that is cancelled out, I am getting minus 1. There I get minus 2, there I get minus 3, right? It is minus 6. Hence, I can say d is my answer. Answer is said to be minus 6. Observe the next question. It is given that 2x divided by x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 1 by 4. Right, that value is given to us. I have to solve it. Right, uh, what I can say, I just cross multiply. That is 8x equal to x square plus 4x plus 1. Now divide both sides by x. So I get it as 8 equal to x plus 4 plus 1 by x. Right, from here I can say x plus 1 by x equal to 4. Now I have to find x cube plus 1 by x cube, cubing both sides. x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 into x into 1 by x into x plus 1 by x equal to 4 cube equal to 64. Now this is cancelled out. So I can say x cube plus 1 upon x cube plus 3 into 4 equal to 64. Right. It should be 64 minus 12. Right. So I can say that is 52. Okay. So my answer to my question is said to be B. 52. 52 becomes my answer. Read the next question. Uh, the rate at which a tap A can fill a tank is two times the rate at which tap B can empty the tank, right? It takes 24 minutes to fill the empty tank completely with both taps open, right? The time taken by tap A to fill the tank in two-third level is. That's my question. Okay, uh, so what I can say here that you may observe the question from at different angles, right? What I can say? If you just try to answer it, so take one approach here. Let us say uh, the rate at which tap A can fill the tank is two times the rate at which tap B can empty. So let us say B empties one liter in one minute. Empties, right? It means for tap A, it's two liter per minute. That you can say, right? Now we both are open together. Effectively, it's emptying, it's filling. So I can say A plus B together fill 1 liter per minute. They fill an empty tank in 24 hours. It means uh, capacity of that, it means uh, in 1 liter effectively that goes inside it uh, tap, right? From here I can say that uh, capacity of the tank would be 24 liter. Practically it should be 24 liter, right? Now I have to take 2 thirds. When I take 2 thirds, it should be 24 into 2 third level. It's equal to 16 liter, right? Uh, tap A will take how much time to fill 2 third, right? 2 third, tap A takes 2 liter per minute. It have to fill 16. How much time it takes? 8 minutes. Hence, answer to my question is said to be 8 minutes. B is my answer. Now, these type of questions, if you are comfortable with these type of concepts without any problem, you can easily answer it. So here I can say, answer to your question is said to be 8 minutes. 
Let's have the next question here. Rectangular cardboard of length 12 and breadth 9, right, is cut at the corners to form an octagon. I have to find the area of the octagon, right. The octagon should be area of the rectangle that is 12 and 9. Total area is 108 minus area of the four triangles 4 into uh, that area is half into base into height, half into 3 into 4. 2 will go on 2, right. So I can say 108 minus uh, 24. Just solve it. It should be 84, right. So I can say that area of the octagon is said to be 84. Square unit A is my answer. Read the next question. A metallic sphere of radius 7 centimeter is melted to form a cylinder of radius 3.5, right. The height of the cylinder would be Compare their volumes, volume of the sphere would be 4 by 3 pi r cube, 7 into 7 into 7, it is equal to cylinder volume pi into r square, 35 by 10 into 35 by 10 into h, right, pi is cancelled out, 7, 7, it will go on 5, it will go on 5, 5, 5, that will go on 2, that will go on 2, right, that we can say, now you have to find h, h would be taken as 4 by 3, into 7 into 4, right. So I can say 16 into 7, 112 by 3, right. Now divide by 3. So what I can say, 3 will go on 3, okay, 22, 7, 37.33. Hence, I can say A is my answer. Height of the cylinder formed is equal to A, 37.33. Next question is, perimeter of a circle inscribed in an equilateral triangle is 22. Perimeter of a circle Inscribed an equilateral triangle is 20 to find the area of the triangle, right? First, I will take it as 2 pi r. 2 pi r is equal to 22. From here, I can say r equal to 22 by 2 into 22 into 7, right? So, radius is equal to 7 by 2. That we can say. Now, let us say uh, side of the triangle is A because it is in circle. So, radius should be A by 2 root 3. Right, that is equal to 7 by 2. So, A would be taken as 7 root 3. Side of an equilateral triangle, I have to find the area. Area is root 3 by 4 into A square. 7 root 3 into 7 root 3. Right, so 7 into 7, 49. 49 into 3, 147. 147 root 3 divided by 4. That is said to be area of the triangle. Right, so hence I can say C is my answer. Read the next question. It is given that ratio of monthly income of Madhu and Swati is 7 ratio 5. Monthly expenditure is 3 ratio 4. Right. Incomes, let us say income are 7x and 5x. Expenditures are 3y and 4y. Okay. Their savings are 9100 and 1300. Right. I have to find the annual income of the Madhu. Right. So that is for Madhu and that is for Swati. What I can say, 7x minus 3y equal to 9100. This gives us 5x minus 4y equal to 1300. It's sort of calculative, right? Uh, multiply by 4 and by 3. So I may say 28x minus 12x equal to 0, 0, 4, 36 by 3. 15x minus 12x, it should be 3900, right? Now, subtracting both sides, it is cancelled out. So I can say, 13x equal to 0, 0, 14 minus 9, 5 and 5 minus 3, 2. That you can say, right? Uh, just find x. 13 will go on to 26 and then 5. 2500, right? I have to find the income of Madhu. Annual income. This is the income of Madhu. 7x. I have just multiply by 12. So 2500 into 12, 30,000. 30,000 into 7, 2 lakh 10,000. So hence I can say A is my answer. The annual income of the Madhu is equal to 2.10 lakh. Hence, you can say answer is said to be A. Let's have the next question. It's given that 4x equal to 6y equal to 5z. Very simple concept. Take the LCM. Right. 4, 6 and 5. Uh, we can say LCM would be taken as 60. All right. 4 will go on 15, 10 and 12. 15, 10, 12. Hence, I can say D is my answer. The ratio of x, ratio y, ratio z is equal to d, 15, ratio 10, ratio 12. Just solve it. So it should be 1 divided by, right. How many bars we have? 4. You have bars, right. So answer should be a 1 by 4 times 9. That becomes your answer. 
रीड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 150 माइनस वन दैट इज 149 राइट देन इट इज 148 राइट इट गोज फाइनली एट सम प्लेस इट गोज अप टू 150 माइनस वन फिफ्टी जीरो मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द नंबर बाय जीरो माई आंसर मस्ट बी जीरो राइट हेंस आई कैन से सी इज माई आंसर बिकॉज वेन आई ऑब्जर्व दिस तो वट इज गिवन टू अस वन फिफ्टी माइनस वन वन फिफ्टी माइनस टू वन फिफ्टी माइनस थ्री इट गोज अप टू वन फिफ्टी माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड तो इन बिटवीन समवेयर देयर मस्ट बी ए टर्म वन फिफ्टी माइनस वन फिफ्टी इफ यू हैव वन फिफ्टी माइनस वन फिफ्टी दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो हैंस ओल मस्ट बी जीरो हैंस आई कैन से सी इज माई आंसर इट्स गिवन दैट ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव इन टीचर सच दैट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फोर we have to find a plus b right just try to make an association let us say uh, 2 4 no 3 9 no uh, 4 16 right uh, if i take 16 so i am going to be 58 no uh, then 5 29 when i subtract uh, 5 to 25 out of that i am getting 49 so i can say 5 and 7 my pairs are 5 and 7 i have to find a plus b answer must be 12 Now these question have to be solved with observation of this type. Hence, I can say twelve is my answer. Next statement is x square minus y square equal to twenty three. X square minus y square equal to twenty three. Both are positive integer. Let us say x plus y into x minus y equal to twenty three. Right. Uh, that could be only possible pair is this must be twenty three and this must be one. So I can say x plus y is twenty three. X minus y equal to one. Right. Just add both. So you can say two x equal to twenty four, x equal to twelve, and y must be equal to eleven. I have to find the value of y. Hence, I can say d is my answer. Y must be eleven. We have to solve this structure, right? Uh, for these type of questions, first of all, uh, take all the zeros, right? Three points four seven and four eleven in the numerator. Here it should be uh, three four seven three ten. Three thirteen, right? So what I can say uh, in numerator, it should be uh, I may take it as let us say three into twenty-seven into three, right? How many zeros we have? Three, four, seven, and four, eleven. It should be ten raised to power eleven. Here I can say sixteen uh, into one forty-four into eighty-one into twenty-seven, right? As well as count here three, four, seven, three, ten, and three thirteen. That should be ten raised to power thirteen. Okay, now we have to solve it. Twenty-seven is going to be cancelled out. Three threes are nine. Nine will go on nine, right? Sixteen nines are one forty-four. So one by one forty-four would taken as outside, and numerator should be ten raised to power two. So I can say that's ten by one forty-four, right? Just solve it. Ah, uh, two five two seventy-two. Okay, so here I can say answer to my question is said to be C five upon seventy-two. That becomes my answer. Uh, it's given that two positive integers are in the ratio five ratio nine. Their LCM is six seventy five. So let us say numbers are five x and nine x, right? Five uh, and nine are uh, co prime to each other, right? So I can say that LCM should be forty five x equal to six seventy five. Just solve it. It should be forty five x equal to six seventy five, right? I can say x equal to six seventy five by forty five, right? Just solve it. Uh, I can say fifteen three, fifteen four, sixty and five. X equal to fifteen. So my number should be seventy five and one thirty five. Right. I have to find a larger out of that. It should be one thirty five. Hence, A is my answer. It's given that root three y. So I can say that this is three y by two two one nine seven two one eight seven. Right. That would be somewhere in the formation of. Uh, Just take it as uh, we know that that is seven twenty nine into three, seven twenty nine into three, right? Now just solve it. Uh, that seven twenty nine is three raised to power uh, six, right? It should be three raised to power seven equal to three raised to power y by two. From here I can say y equal to fourteen, right? Hence answer to this value of y is equal to fourteen. B is your answer. Read the next question. A person wants to distribute toffees a dozen each to twenty-four members. So total toffee that is required twenty-four into twelve, eighty-eight, eight carry eight, twelve four forty-eight, eight carry four, twenty-four and four twenty-eight, two eighty-eight. 
in a packet of five. How many packets you have now? Divide by five. So five will go on five. Uh, Fifty-five, thirty-eight, seven. Right. That gives me two eighty-five toffees. I need three more means one, one, uh, one more packet is required. So what is the minimum number of packets that are required? Is equal to fifty-eight. Hence you can say C is your answer. We have to find the value of this. Right. When you observe at it somewhere, we have to rationalize. That's the first step. Take it as fifteen root two into root six minus root three. Right. And when you talk about denominator, should be three plus five root three. It should be root two plus one. Okay. In denominator, it should be one. Three will go on five. Right. So I can say five root two into me root six minus root three plus five root three into me root two plus one. That you can say. Right. Now just multiply. Uh, that should be uh, five root twelve. Minus five root six plus five root six plus five root three. Okay, this is cancelled out, right? Take two outside as common. That is ten root three plus five root three. Okay, now solve it. It should be fifteen root three, right? Hence, I can say the value of this expression is said to be fifteen root three. A is your answer. Let's have the next question here. It is given that a person is running towards a point B. From a point A, which is equidistant from the base C of a tower of height hundred, a tower of height hundred, the base is C, right? A person is running towards from a point B, from a point A, which is equidistant from the base C of the tower height hundred. If we are on the same line, it means I can say he is going from. In this way, right? Another person uh, from top of the tower observes that A is making 45 degree of angle of depression. This angle is 45 degree, right? And uh, A and B are on the same path. Okay. Find the time taken by the person to reach B if he runs at a rate of 5 meter per second. This is 100. This must be 100. This must be 100 because this angle is 45 perpendicular by base, right? So I can say. Total is two hundred, right? We have to find time taken by the person to reach at B. The total distance he has to travel two hundred divided by speed. So it should be forty seconds, right? Hence, I can say C is my answer. Forty second becomes my answer. Observe the next question. X, Y, Z are given. We have to find X square minus Y square minus Z square, right? X is equal to a second theta into cos second theta. Just multiply, make it as a square. Secant square theta into cosecant square theta, right? Y minus a square secant square theta into cot square theta z minus a square tan square theta. That we have. Okay. Now what I can say, I will just try to convert everything into x, y, z, and you will finally find every everything could be cancelled out. Let us say, take it as common a square secant square theta. Inside you get it as cosecant square theta minus cot square theta, right? Minus a square tan square theta. That you have. We know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is always equal to one. Okay, this is one. So that is a square secant square theta minus a square tan square theta. That you have. Now if I take a square as common, you get it as secant square theta minus tan square theta, right? Also, we know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is also equal to one. So finally, my answer is said to be a square. Hence, I can say a uh, value of x square minus y square minus z square is equal to a square. A becomes my answer. Read the next question. It is given that four cosecant theta plus six secant theta is equal to root fifty-two secant theta into cosecant theta. Divide by that secant theta and cosecant theta, right? You get it as four by secant theta root fifty-two plus six by root fifty-two cosecant theta equal to one. So that is four by root fifty-two cos theta plus six by root fifty-two sine theta equal to one. That we have, right? Now. Uh, I have to find the value of cot theta. So what here I can observe that I may say that 36 plus 16 is root 
राइट तो वट आई कैन से आई मे टेक दिस वैल्यू एज लेट एस से फोर बाय रूट फिफ्टी टू इज इक्वल टू साइन अल्फा अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन से सिक्स बाय रूट फिफ्टी टू बिकम्स कोस अल्फा राइट इट बिकम साइन अल्फा कोस थीटा कोस अल्फा साइन थीटा दैट वुड बी साइन ऑफ थीटा प्लस अल्फा इज इक्वल टू वन दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी राइट तो आई कैन से दैट वैल्यू वी हैव राइट नाउ आई टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कोर्ट थीटा theta plus alpha is equal to 90 degree that you have okay and uh, here you have to find cot theta so i may say cot theta is equal to cot of 90 minus alpha which is equal to tangent alpha that you can say now if i say sin alpha is 4 by root 52 that would be possible when this is 4 this is 6 and this is root 52 so my tangent alpha would be 4 by 6 right or i or else i can say 2 by 3 Hence, I can say C is my answer. The value of cot theta is equal to two by three. That becomes my answer. We have to find the value of cot square forty two minus cot square forty eight. Right? But I can say cot square forty two minus one by that could be taken as uh, sine square forty two because I can say uh, sine of ninety minus forty eight. That is cos of ninety minus forty eight. Right? Now it should be cot square forty two. Minus cosecant square forty two, right? Now we know that one plus cot square equal to cosecant square theta, right? It means uh, cot square theta minus cosecant square theta is equal to minus one, right? Hence I can say B is my answer. Answer is said to be minus one. Let's have the next question here. Sine theta into cot sixty equal to one by three. Let us say sine theta cot sixty is equal to one by root three. Equal to one by three. I can say sine theta equal to one by root three. I have to find cos of theta plus forty five. That is equal to cos a cos b cos forty five one by root two minus sine a sine b one by root two. Right. Now we can easily put my value and I can easily solve it because if sine theta is one by root three, from here I can easily find cos theta and just put my values. My answer would be there. Right. Let's have the next question here. Area of a quadrilateral inscribed by two lines. My lines are a modulus of x plus b modulus of y plus equal to c. Right. Now what I can say my lines would be a x plus b y equal to c, or it may be a x minus b y equal to c, or minus a x plus b y equal to c. Right. And when I just find uh, if I just try to uh, draw my lines, put x to be zero, y is equal to c by b. Y to be zero, x to be c by a, right? It should be uh, x to be uh, y, x to be c by a, and it should be c by b, right? So it should be somewhere in this format. Let us say area of this particular triangle: half into base into height, half into c by b into c by a, and my total triangles are four, right? Two. So I can say two square upon me a b. I can say that it should be two square upon me a b, right? So finally, d is my answer. Area of the quadrilateral thus formed is equal to two square by AB. Let's have the next question here. A pit of radius three point five uh, meter and depth four meter is dug out of the center of a field, which is in circular shape of the radius thirty five meter, and spread evenly on the field. The rise in the level of the field is right, which is circular shape, right. So that somewhere question is of that type. Let us say this is. And one circle is there of that. That r is 3.5, and depth is 4 meter, and the radius of the whole circle is 35. Right. So what I can say first, take the volume, volume of a cylinder. Right. That would be uh, pi r square 3.5 square into h. Right. That's the total volume of. Now I have to equally spread on it. Let us say height would be h, area would be pi r square 35 square minus. Pi into 3.5 whole square. Go so that the uh, is the remaining area on which that have to be spread, right? Now, pi is cancelled out. So I can say 3.5 square into 4 equal to h, as well as I can say uh, 3.5 square I can take outside as common, right? Here I uh, here I am being left with 100 minus 1. Okay, uh, that you can say. Now the next thing that we have. Uh, it should be cancelled out. 
एच वुड बी इक्वल टू समवेयर फोर अपॉन नाइनटी नाइन ओके आई वु कन्वर्ट इन टू द सेंटीमीटर आई नो दैट हंड्रेड इट शुड बी फोर हंड्रेड अपॉन नाइनटी नाइन राइट अप्रोक्सीमेटली इट विल गो ऑन फोर फोर पॉइंट जीरो फोर हेंस आई कैन से सी इज माई आंसर फोर पॉइंट जीरो फोर लेट्स हैव द लास्ट डी आई सेट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एस एस सी सी जी एल प्री एग्जामिनेशन द पाई चार्ट बिलो रिप्रेजेंट द ब्रेकअप ऑफ फोर फ्रेंड्स ए बी सी डी तो लेट इज जस्ट टेक इट एज ए बी सी एंड डी एटी फोर डिग्री फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री एंड नाइनटी सिक्स डिग्री राइट नाउ एंड टोटल अमाउंट विद दैम इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो एट जीरो ओके फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज वट इज द अमाउंट विद द पर्सन हुआ इज द मैक्सिम अमाउंट मैक्सिम अमाउंट इज सी तो आई मे से वन जीरो एट जीरो इन टू वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाय थ्री सिक्सटी इट विल गो ऑन थ्री तो आई कैन से दैट इज थ्री सेवेंटी एट ओके हेन्स आई कैन से बी इज माई आंसर ओके नेक्स्ट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अमाउंट विद द पर्सन हैव द लीस्ट एंड सेकेंड लिस्ट लिस्ट इज दैट वन सेकेंड लिस्ट इज दैट वन दे आर डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू एटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टी फोर थर्टी तो आई कैन से वन जीरो एट जीरो इंटू थर्टी बाय थ्री सिक्सटी नाइनटी इज माई आंसर हेन्स आई कैन से आंसर इज सेट टू बी बी नाइनटी फाइन द एवरेज ऑफ द अमाउंट दैट ए एंड डी हैव राइट ए एंड डी जस्ट एड बोथ एटी फोर एंड नाइनटी सिक्स राइट इट शुड बी वन एटी ओके इट शुड बी वन एटी तो आई मे से वन जीरो एट जीरो बाय थ्री सिक्सटी राइट इट विल गो ऑन टू फाइव फोर्टी देर सम इज फाइव फोर्टी एवरेज वुड बी टू सेवेंटी हेन्स आई कैन से ए इज माई आंसर तो दिस इज एड टू अवर सेकेंड प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑफ एस एस सी सी जी एल प्री एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिकल सेक्शन इन दिस सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल द फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन दैट आर जनरली आस्ट ए जम्बल ऑफ अर्थमेटिक्स टिक्नोमेट्री जोमेट्री मैंसुरेशन एज वेल एज सिंप्लीफिकेशन एज वेल एज एल्जब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एज वेल एज डी आई राइट यू मे वॉज द सेशन अगेन सो दैट यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद वट अप्रोच वी हैव अप्लाइड इन ऑर्डर टू आंसर अवर क्वेश्चन थैंक यू वेरी मच यू मे कनेक्ट मी ऑन माई फेसबुक एट द रेट दिनेश मिगलानी वन थिंग आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू टू शेयर दिस वीडियोज ऑन योर फेसबुक वोल एज वेल एज विद योर फ्रेंड्स so that more and more people will be benefited by this thank you very much